Hi everyone, this is Elan Chirian from Common. In this video, we will be discussing about the limitations of Amazon VPC. While creating your resources in Amazon VPC, there are several limitations per region, per subscription. And these limitations can be increased uh, by contacting the Amazon uh, through Amazon VPC limits form so that the required uh, resources can be increased. So here now we'll see the uh, resources and its uh, default limits. So by default, in a region, you can create only five VPCs per subscription. And uh, in each VPC, you can create up to 200 subnets. And also we can have five elastic IPs per region. I hope uh, you might be aware about the elastic IP. Elastic IP is nothing but a public static IP, which is uh, offered by Amazon free of cost. Uh, one thing you have to keep in mind that uh, when you uh, allocate any uh, elastic IP that has to be associated to any instances and that should be used. If the elastic IP is allocated and if it is not associated to uh, any instance that is, if the elastic IP is uh, allocated and it is not used, you will be charged. So by default, uh, you will be given uh, five elastic IPs by default. If required, you can uh, uh, contact uh, AWS and then you can increase the limits. And uh, coming to the flow logs, so by default per uh, VPC, you can have uh, uh, two flow logs configured. Uh, for a single network interface card or a single subnet or a single VPC in a region, you can have up to two flow logs configured. And speaking about the customer gateway per region, so you can create up to 50 customer gateway. And uh, these customer gateways are uh, used to establish VPN connection between AWS VPC and the on-premises uh, uh, network so that you can uh, interconnect your on-premises network with the uh, Amazon uh, cloud network and internet gateways and these two you can create only five internet gateways per region and uh, NAT gateway per availability zone. So the availability zone may vary depending on the region you are choosing. So for each availability zone you can have up to uh, five NAT gateways and uh, virtual private gateway per region you can create only up to five and network acl per vpc you can create up to 200 and uh, for each uh, network acl you can ha add up to 20 rules in each network acl you can create up to 20 uh, acls that is 20 acl rules and a routing table you can create up to 200 routing table per vpc and you can also add 50 routes in each routing table. So that is each routing table in a VPC can have up to 50 routes. And uh, speaking about the uh, BGP advertised routes per table, you can have up to 50. And uh, security groups, so per region you can have up to 500 security groups per VPC and inbound or outbound routes per security group you can have up to 50 and uh, security groups per network interface can be up to 5 and active VPC peering connection per VPC can be up to 50 and outstanding VPC peering connection request up to 25 that is for establishing VPC peering we need to send a peering request so that uh, the other side in the other side uh, they have to accept the peering request so that can be uh, in the queue or uh, that is in the queue we can have up to 25 peering request connections and also you can contact uh, amazon to increase this and uh, expiry time for an unaccepted uh, uh, VPC peering connection is one week, that is 168 hours by default. And these two can be increased based on the request. And uh, per VPC, you can have up to 20 endpoints. 
and uh, VPN connection per region we can have up to 50 and uh, per virtual private gateway you can have up to 10 uh, VPN connection per VPC and that's all about the limitations on uh, VPC so whatever here I have listed is the default limits for all the default limits if you want extension you can contact uh, AWS uh, support so that uh, they can increase the required uh, resources I hope uh, you all got some idea about the limitations on VPC so that uh, you can uh, uh, handle your production environment efficiently thank you and if you have any technical doubts or technical clarifications you can contact me at any time in this given number or email id thank you